Three things your coach won't tell you because he ain't got no. The fact of the matter is your coach is your friend, but he is also afraid to tell you some of the stuff you truly need to know. Most of that stuff you'll get through experience. The first one being all that running, all that fitness, all that uptight energy about you having to do the exact right thing in order to succeed, gonna have to tell you about 20 years in the sport, that's not true. It's good, it's important. And personally, I think you should train well. I think you should be fit. But guys, the fact of the matter is, something else is making success. You don't always have to do the fitness. You don't always have to run. You don't always have to be the perfect player. It's okay if sometimes you miss a pass. It's, it's okay if sometimes you have terrible games. It's okay if you don't wanna play. If you don't wanna try sometimes. It's okay, that's fine. Well, on the flip side, you gotta realize there are players all out there. Some of these guys don't take care of their bodies. They eat horribly, they never sleep, and yet, when the game comes on, they ball. Like never before. All of you guys know a few people like this on your team. And there are many, many huge players. Eden Hazard being one of them. I don't know exactly what he was doing, but he admits to knowing that, guys, I just know when I come out to the field, I ball and that's it, right? His career cut short, issues and problems and all these things he has because of it. But at the end of the day, you cannot admit that you have to do everything perfectly and still be your best. It's not true, the coach won't tell you, but Will John, running for football president 2024, elections in November, will. The fact of the matter is that you think the coach is there to give you reality, to tell you exactly what's going on. That's not true. You are gonna find yourself in positions in life and in the sport where no matter what you do, you are not gonna play. He is not gonna give you the best opportunity for you to succeed. It is going to happen to you at least once. It happens to players no matter of their stature. We all know that Gareth Bale was at least good enough to play sometimes at Real Madrid. Eden Hazard, already mentioned him, probably good enough to play sometime. Five minutes? Something? No, something else is going on. And it's not on them to make sure that they know reality. It's on you. Your coach is not going to tell you that. You're going to go to him. And you're going to say, I want to play, coach. Timmy. Timmy, Timmy wants to play and score some goals, coach. That's great, Timmy. You little good player. You did good at training. You're never going to play. Politics is a part of sport. It's on you to figure out the situation that you are in. It's not your coaches. The cameraman is about to fall over. He's about to hit some shoes. So I have to stop right now for one second. To make this as concrete as possible, you have to ask your coach, assess your situation, speak to people around you to know exactly what the hell is truly going on. It's on you, it's not on the coach. The coach is your friend, but he's not gonna tell you everything. The sooner you learn that, the better you'll be. Last but not least, we are not telling you not to pay attention to your coach, to not listen to your coach. What we're saying is that your opinion matters too. And when coaches start talking about physique, this happens to a lot of young players, they'll tell you you're too small, you're too skinny, you don't yet have the technical ability, whatever it is, he doesn't like your hair color, he doesn't like your face, that doesn't mean shit. It just doesn't mean anything. Every player has been told a million times that they don't have the qualities in order to be a true pro or a true good player. None of that matters. What matters is your opinion of yourself and how much you are willing to work for the things that you believe in. Coaches and parents will say things that they think are either going to motivate you or that are inspiring and they're trying to keep you in reality, give you a nice good understanding of where you're at in the world. You need to figure that out for yourself. If you look at guys like Messi and Modric, both of them were considered to be too small to have any true impact on the game. We all know that that is not true. Keep that in your head when you're going out to train, when you're listening to your coach, your opinion matters most and will be the most determining factor for who you become. Good. <laughs> that was a good vid, but the fact of the matter, like, Timmy is shit, though. He's shit. Are you, you're not, are you? That's the vid. Leave us a like, comment down below, subscribe, and check out everything from us here at Unisport, and we will see you guys later. Now that we've got crossbar. I just, 
I have... Oh, don't. The paparazzi's always fault. Just... Does.